Wingardium Leviosa! 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 Wingardium Wingardium Will you stop that please? Just please stop! What? Why are you so mad? Just stop it! It's annoying! But, but it's real! No! No! You can do it! No! You will never do it! Because it's just a box! It's just from a movie! It's not real! Alright? Get it? Alright? Please stop! Please stop! Because it's annoying! Alright? I just wanted to take a cup of drink and I can't! <laughs> so you please shut the fuck up! We got you with your son! What you've been doing is impossible, man. It's just annoying. It's just, sorry. It's just... Hello guys, what is up? Terra Arts Movie here with another super super exciting After Effects tutorial and today I am gonna be teaching you how to do this effect. So let's just ramp review this. And it doesn't work. Let's just try it one more time. There you go. And as you can see here is uh, water effects, water bending effects, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like that old movie. What is it called? Uh, the Abyss. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of water from the Abyss movie. As you can see here. Well, as you can see. Yep. That's uh, this is kind of good. <laughs> uh, it's not like uh, you know, very, very realistic effect like island quality or whatever, like you can do with you know, 3D software or whatever. So basically, it's all done inside After Effects, no third party plugins, no um, 3D software, just After Effects. So, um, I want to say thank you for my friend who found me this, which is also a visual effects editor. Uh, he's from Indonesia and he's my Facebook friend, and his name is Tuan Besar. So, thank you, terima kasih. <laughs> Makasih banyak, and thank you for uh, Tuan Besar, and uh, yep, so, <laughs> I'm just gonna be teaching you how to do this, so, first thing first, of course, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna shot yourself with a camera, and then click and drag it to this new composition, boom, and there you go, so, you ha you're gonna use tripod for this, so, make sure your camera isn't moving, why are you gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna understand it, you're gonna understand it later, so, um, and then you're gonna duplicate the layer by click on the layer and then press Control D on your keyboard or click on the layer and go to edit, duplicate or Control D. It's the same and just blah 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 as you can see here. But we gotta delete that so we just have to duplicate duplicate it once and then uh, for the uh, top layer here we're gonna make sure you turn off the audio because when you render it you don't want to have double audio so for the top one here which is we're gonna put some effect we're gonna click it and then go to effect and then uh, simulation and then go to CC Mr. Mercury I don't know if it's actually uh, you know Mr. but anyway <laughs> so basically we are done here so it's a very very easy effect it's already done <laughs> already, I'm not kidding it's, it's serious you're already done here all you're gonna do is just play with these settings so for example for my example here to make it small uh, all you're gonna do is go to the uh, uh, longevity and then it's actually I, I don't know how to pronounce this is longevity or whatever <laughs> you're gonna go to the left here to the minus uh, side here and then as you can see here I'm gonna turn it down and it's gonna make it smaller and then for the um, 
Um, blob burst size, I'm gonna make it smaller too. Whoop, there you go, make it smaller and blob that size, also make it smaller. And also for the um, birth rate, I'm gonna punch it up. So, there you go. Now, as you can see here, you can also play with the velocity. For me, I'm gonna maybe turn it down or just maybe, there you go. And if you can play with the gravity. For me, I'm just make it, you know, a little bit down, you know, go goes down. And the resistance, you can play with the resistance even more. So, as you can see here, it already looks like water dripping out from one spot because it's, the animation is actually explosive. If you want to make it, you know, twirly, you can change it to twirly. As you can see here, if you play this, there you go, it's kind of going around, 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 well, basically twirly, like, uh, like uh, Miley Cyrus. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> this, that's it, guys. Basically, we are done here. And if you want to make it moving, like, like, like in my uh, scene here, as you can see, it's kind of moving. And woo, there you go. All you're gonna do is uh, set a keyframe on the producer here. Let's say you're gonna make it move from here to here. Just uh, make it sure it's here on this. Uh, uh, and then set the keyframe there. And then on your layer here, you can, uh, uh, on your keyboard, you can uh, press U. And then it shows up the keyframe. And then you're gonna move. And then you're gonna also move this producer, you know, to here. And create another keyframe. And then there you go, basically. <laughs> it moving woo and uh, yeah so for the resistant maybe I'm gonna make it more resistant so as you can see here guys there you go as you can see the animation is actually uh, following the movement so as you can see here this is the producer when you make it move to the right as you can see here the producer is actually like leading the animation so the animation it will look realistic the water will look, will look realistic there you go. Or you can maybe create some ghost effect also with this. You know, it doesn't have to be a water effect. You can go create some ghost effect. Well, it's all in your imagination. So because uh, After Effects is just a tool, the the actual effects is in your head. Woo! You <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I should uh, write a book someday. Anyway, <laughs> and as you can see here, we already done actually. And but uh, I'm just gonna be uh, telling you another thing here. You can actually play with the light so as you can see here uh, I actually shot this with a uh, kind of yellowish lighting and it's coming from the right so you can do that by uh, click on the light color here and make it maybe you know yellowish and there you go to make it blend in more with your scene and uh, you can even change the type of light is it point light which or distant light for me it can point light actually so it's not you know that uh, as you can see, you can do. Ooh, I just realized this. You can actually look at this. Play with the light direction, which has come from the right. Uh, actually, from the left. I kind of forgot where the light. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> but actually, anyway, <laughs> make sure you remember. Ooh, make sure you remember. Uh, uh, which way your light is. Anyway, um, you can also edit the shading, the ambient to make it. You know. Uh, darker or brighter for me and just make it darker to blend in basically it's just for blending as you, as you, and also as you can see here because I shot this on the uh, flat profile on my Canon 5D Mark II so it's kinda a little bit blurry so and this is kinda too sharp so all you can all you gotta do is go to effect um, blur and sharpen at, at some you know Gaussian blur and then make it a little blur a little bit boom blend in even more and because it's moving and uh, for me i like to ha i like to add some motion blur now for this though uh, it's a uh, third party plugins uh, only for the motion blur so it's called uh from revision plugins and it's called um rsmb which is a real smart motion blur there you go it's just for me though to make it even more uh, real sections here it gets some nice um, motion blur effect but if you don't want if you don't want it well you don't have it <laughs> there you go so basically it's all inside after effects uh, uh, except the 
or motion blur but if you don't need it there you go you're basically already done here the water effects is all inside after effects all right guys so i hope you find this tutorial useful as you can see here Woo! what kind of water effects like in the abbeys <laughs> it's not that realistic but hey anyway it works because as visual effects editor well uh, you gonna you gonna basically you know uh have this um uh, well, you gotta know any type of effects, right? <laughs> so from the very realistic one to this kind of what I like to call the cute one. Because, for example, here's like a sitcom for a comedy, and or or maybe a TV show with a with a stupid deadline. You know, when you shot the uh, the footage at daytime and you, the deadline is actually at nighttime. Well, it it happens on TV shows, so you you don't want to use like 3D software that rendering the rendering time is like like too slow. So I hope this uh, this effects or, or this technique actually helps you out. All right, guys, so Terra Art's movie here. I hope you find this tutorial useful and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching this video. Thank you for like, sharing, whatever, <laughs> and see you in the next cool videos and tutorial. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, a bracadabra in magic, but uh, in Tars movies, like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye.